Hello Cancers, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are gonna be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. Cancer, the person you're dealing with, we're dealing with or will be dealing with their feelings towards you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Their intentions. We have the Hangman. Their next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the Justice. The challenge between the two of you. We have the Seven of Wands. Your energy towards them. We have the Nine of Wands. And the potential outcome. We have the Magician. The general overall energy of the situation. We have the Two of Cups. All right, Cancers. <sighs> this looks like a tough situation. I'm just going to be very honest with you, Cancer. I feel like this is somebody that you have a very uh, strong connection with, a very intense connection with, and... Some of you guys, I do feel like this is something that's already come to an end here. We have this death energy, the five of cups at the bottom of the deck, queen of cups energy. So for some of you guys, I feel like this is something that's already kind of come to a close. Now, for some of you guys, I do feel like it could have come to a close because of um, some kind of illusion here. I feel like somebody was, especially with this seven of cups energy, I kind of feel like somebody was trying to... It just feel a little bit gamey to me. Somebody was playing a little bit games or they were trying to make things seem like they weren't. So maybe that could look like their intentions, right? Like they were saying they wanted one thing, um, but their actions were doing something else, right? Um, or they were just making things seem like something that they weren't. Now we're going to get more into this in a moment, okay? But we have the page of pentacles here for their feelings here. I feel like somebody is feeling some kind of call to reach out. Okay, they're either like looking for some kind of, I'm going to be honest, some of you guys, this could be because of your birthday cancer. I know cancer, it's cancer season here. Some of you guys, this could be them wanting to reach out for your birthday. I just feel like this pull or this call to, um, to reach out, to contact, you know, it doesn't have to be because of your birthday. There could just be something else. You know, this person is just has you on their mind or is just feeling this, uh, pull to, to contact you here, or they could have been waiting for some kind of communication from you, you know, hoping and feeling like that's something that they were desiring here. Now, we have this hangman here as their intentions. I feel like they are trying to like just push past or wait out this feeling to reach out, this feeling that they want to call, this feeling that they want to text. It's like on this card here on the hangman, it says learn to get comfortable with sitting still whenever necessary. I feel like this is them like trying to just wait it out, wait until that feeling passes. And there's something about it that does not feel like a good idea from them. It's like there's a part of them that doesn't feel like as much as they want to hear from you or they want to reach out to you. They're feeling this call to do that here. There's a part of them that knows that, that for some reason that that is not a good idea. Okay. And maybe because of this justice energy. You know, the justice energy could speak that this person knows that they have some things that they need to apologize for or things that they need to make right or a truth that they need to give. And I feel like that's why they don't feel like it's a good idea to communicate a good idea to reach out. Some of you guys, I do feel like they may end up doing that here. 
This Two of Cups could look like a face-to-face -face conversation or at least a conversation. Even the justice energy, like she's sitting at the computer, they could be getting ready to like type out an email or type out a text message here. Seven of Wands as the challenge. I'm getting quite a bit from this, to be honest from you, or to be honest with you guys here. The Seven of Wands here, one, I feel like this is kind of what they're expecting from you. And on this deck, like there's all these people, you know, pointing at this one person here. Um, I do feel like they're, they are worried about how you're going to respond or react to them. They could feel like you have, you're going to like <laughs> have a lot that you need to say or accuse them of here, right? And, and maybe not even accusing it, like maybe just holding them accountable. You know, it says here, this is a witchy deck. It says, witch, it says witches should hold other witches accountable. So I kind of feel like that here. I feel like this person is kind of afraid of being held accountable for their choices, for their actions, for the things that they've done in the past. Like I said, there's definitely this acknowledgement that they have a lot that they need to be honest about, that they have a lot that they need to apologize for. And I feel like they're afraid of actually facing up to that here. The Seven of Wands as well. They could just know that they could be anticipating that you're going to have a guard up when it comes to them. Or that maybe you have them blocked. Maybe that you don't want to hear from them. Your energy showing up as the Nine of Wands. It says it'll take a hell of a lot more to defeat you. And I feel like that here. I feel like I feel like even though you guys are extremely strong and resilient and this didn't defeat you, um, I also feel like you're in a space where it's like, do I really want to continue to go through anything else like that with this person? Do I really want to continue to put myself in a position to, to go through this again? Okay. Um, the Nine of Wands is like trying to push to that last bit, right? That last, it's like, it's like if it's in a race, okay. And it's like, you have one more lap to go out of 50 laps. You have one more, you're like, you're almost there, but you're exhausted. You're wore out. It's like, I, I don't know if I can do it. Right. That's kind of how I feel. It's like, I don't know if I can take any more. Okay. So I feel like that's where you're at with this person is I don't know if I can take any more, uh, any more lies or any more illusions or any more bull crap in general. So we have the magician here for the potential outcome. I do want to clarify this. We got the queen of wands and the two of wands and the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. For most of you, I don't feel like this person is going to end up reaching out to you, okay? I feel like they're feeling this call to here, um, but I, I do ultimately feel like having to face that accountability, I don't think that they're quite ready to do that yet. So I feel like they're trying really hard to kind of just push past this feeling. Um, and even though, even for those of you where maybe this person does choose to with that uh, justice energy here and this like conversation, this communication that looks like it's taking place, I'm not sure that it looks like it. it it's very positive. Um, you have the Five of Cups. I feel like it could bring up a lot. You got the Queen of Cups. I feel like it could just, it could be, it could bring up a lot of emotions, okay? But we have some more of the Seven of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. I feel like it still leaves you left with more questions than answers it still leaves you wondering if somebody's even being honest or like kind of just this feels like like why did you even reach out like what was the point like what did you like what was what did you even want you know like why did you even do that um that's kind of where i feel like it leaves you um and ultimately i feel like you guys just end up spending a lot more time trying to you know, get yourselves back into balance, focusing on friends and family. You got the Ten of Cups, got this King of Cups, like pouring into yourself, trying to get yourself back to a good emotional place. Um, so even for those of you where this person may end up reaching out, it just kind of looks like, it kind of looks like it just leaves you wondering like why they even bothered in the first place. Your energy here, though, I do feel like you are manifesting. You are creating the a new life for yourself, okay? And you're working really hard. And I think it's going to, with the Eight of Pentacles, 
if you put the work in, you get the reward, okay? Um, and, and I feel that here. Just continue to work on yourselves, Cancer. You are creating something new for yourself. You have the Queen of Wands, you know, moving towards a lot more happiness, feeling a lot more confident. And the, confident. And the Two of Wands is also, you know, leaving something behind, going on a new adventure, a change in direction. I do feel like for those of you where things have been stagnant or things have been very hard, I feel like that there is a positive shift coming in for you, okay? But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.